Hey guys, I'm Rizgrestar, and how about we continue with Undertale? So I just took a brief break, no need to do the full introduction, right? But here we are, so, this is the plate of frozen spaghetti, and then it's so cold it's stuck to the table. Oh, I guess I didn't click on that before. Oh, I didn't click on it before because I didn't want to fall into the trap, but this is the trap set by Papyrus, I'm pretty sure. Um, because this is an awesome note here. It's a note from Papyrus, you know, HUMAN, PLEASE ENJOY THIS SPAGHETTI! And then, so, he tells us it's a trap. And then it turns out the microwave isn't even plugged in, so, yeah. But it's all just to keep us from making- I like that it's even signed by him at the end. It's all just to keep, keep us from making progress, so we're just gonna keep making progress anyway. Warning, dog marriage. What? They're just allowing anything these days. I'm just kidding, obviously enough. Oh no, there's a fight! So there's an ice cap, and Jerry came to- <laughs> That's funny, I don't know who Jerry is. Attack zero defense 20. Everyone knows Jerry. He makes attacks two seconds longer. Oh no! Wow, you guys suck at this. Oh no! Oh no! Crap, longer is not great when I'm dodging attacks. Jerry tells everyone it has to go to the bathroom. Okay. I think I need to compliment Ice Cap a few times, right? And then in the end, I can- Ah! Oh, I forgot this was a thing. I'd rather the warp pipe shooting ice whatever's. Smells like Jerry. Here, let's see. So we want Ice Cap again. Compliment him. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. And he already knows that. Here we go. Good. I think I'm better at dodging this one at least. And then I get hit by it. But that's because I put myself in the corner and that wasn't smart. Um, Ice Cap still needs compliments, I think. Oh no, it was like, you need to weaken it with attacks and then steal the hat, huh? I don't remember, actually. Let's just try complimenting again. See, nothing changes when I do that, or nothing seems to. Oh dear. Ah, I did the same thing. Sneezes without covering his nose. Ah, oh, Jerry! Why would you do that? Alright, let's see, Jerry. Ditch! You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. That just sounds sad. Is that a mercy kind of thing? Is that really nice? Let's see now. Yeah, Jerry's not even there in the act anymore. The other monsters celebrate Jerry's disappearance. That's sad. Um. Oh, I forgot about the whole miss thing. So I don't know if that's how you're supposed to get rid of Jerry, or even if this is how you're supposed to get rid of Ice Cap. You know? Like, trying to weaken it and then take it to- Oh, Jerry's back! Oh no. Some monsters are easier to figure out than others, I dare say. Return of Jerry. Okay, maybe now he's weak enough. So, let's try it. After this. I'll see if I can't steal his hat, and then we can, um, mercy him. Oh, no, I can just mercy him right now, actually. Spare. There we go. The Wi-Fi here sucks. You suck, Jerry! Ditch. And I won! That was it, okay. I think that's a victory. What is all this? Oh. It's a map of sorts. Okay, so we wanna go up here. And uh, it was right here, right? There's a switch hidden in the snow! Click! Ha ha ha, look at me! Okay, we're gonna move on then. I mean, I just lowered the spikes. Yep, now we're free to go. <gasps> Uh-oh! There are dog things! What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Oh dear. Eliminate you! Oh no. Doggy, I guess. Aw, they're in love. <laughs> okay, so Dogami and Dogaressa? Alright. Let's uh, check. Dogami, husband of Dogaressa, knows only what he smells. Don't touch my hot dog, he means me. <laughs> okay, so she's in parentheses. Oh dear! Ow! Ow! That was painful. 
Dogs are practicing for the next couples contest. I see. You'll see if you're anything else. This puppy finds her hubby lovely. Smells only? Question mark? I don't know what that means. All right, let's try to dodge better this time. Ah, ow! Didn't work out too terribly well. Nope, that didn't work out at all. They're saying sickly sweet things. Um, hmm, I might die here. Let's have the nice cream. Okay, ha- But how do I dodge- Like, any of the attacks? I don't get that one yet. Dog at me, um... You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Dang it. I don't know if that did anything good. Don't! Oh, it hurt me in the very end. Dogs may want to re-smell you. Re-sniff? The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. Uh, but that doesn't mean they like me. Uh, how do you dodge that? The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Pet? You pet the dog or Essa. Which did nothing, I guess. Oh, wait. Good. Ah. Oh, darn it. They were swirling. Some of the hearts were blue, I think, and so I think I could have, like, avoided those by standing still, but you cannot give up just yet. Risa, stay determined. Okay. I won't quit yet. No, I won't. Ah, oh, dang it. Let me get back up to that point. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Doing this bit again. So I'm gonna try to roll around once more. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Number two, Nuts and Champs. 98. Of course we were second. Um. The dogs may want to re-smell you. I am sure we sniff, I'll try that again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. Um, are you actually a little puppy? Wait, then why are you attacking a little puppy? Little puppy does not understand how to dodge that one. Dogs think that you may be a lost puppy, but I can't do anything about that yet. Can I roll around again? No, it just does the same kind of deal. All right. Ow! Okay, so I think I might be getting out of dodge that one, finally. Uh... What if I pet? I forget. Wow! Pet by another pup! Well, don't leave me out. Oh, now I gotta pet her then? Is that the thing? And now I run back to the center. Okay, got it. Maybe lost puppy, so now Dogressa, pet! You pet the Dogressa! A dog that pets dogs. Amazing! Let's kill it! Oh no, actually, this, this is the nice attack. Good. And yeah, these hearts are the ones you can go through. The dog's minds have been expanded. And now I can leave. There we go. 40 gold from that one. That was good. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Goodbye, friends. Alright, so that went alright in the end. Let's see what this says first. So we're working with, you know, education. Turn every X into a zero. Or into an O, I guess. Then press the switch. Okay. Well, that was easy. Hey, look who it is. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Is there any left for you? What? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? I left it. It's, go for it, dude. Really? Wowie! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta! Just so you could share it with me? Fred not human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want! <laughs> yeah! Alright, thanks Papyrus, he's a good friend. Anything else? My brother started a sock collection recently! How saddening! Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him! Yeah! Alright, goodbye, Papyrus. Let's see what this- Oh, is this another thing with the X's turning O's? Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so... 
I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Okay. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. His cape is even flowing, that is fun. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. Okay, I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay, let's see what the sign says first. Stop, not what I meant. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay. Let's see then. If I can only do each one once. Oh, okay, yeah, because if I let's step on that, let's step on it again. Oh. Wait. Go back. Thank you. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's take care of... I'm not entirely sure, so it'll take a minute to work through this, but I might as well see, you know, what I can do right away. Yeah, see, I think there's just gonna be one that's tripping me up here now. Yeah. Okay, I think I see how to do it, though. Let's see. So go back to here. We're gonna trigger this one. And now we're gonna trigger this one. Ah, oh, dang it, but then to get to the switch, I have to step on it. That didn't work. Huh. So I need the last one to be that X up top, don't I? I think, I mean, because that's where I would be, you know, free, I guess. Well, let's see. No, I mean, that didn't work. It almost worked, it works better than the last one because I only had one triangle there. But still not quite. There we go, look, I did it. Okay, hitting it. Wow, you solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible, I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you there, Papyrus. That crazy old fool. Hey, look who it is! Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. I know you do. Hey, they're both here. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color! Each color has a different function! Red tiles are impassable! You cannot walk on them! Yellow tiles are electric! They will electrocute you! Green tiles are alarm tiles! If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster! Orange tiles are orange scented! They will make you smell delicious! <laughs> Blue tiles are water tiles! Swim through if you like, but... If you smell like oranges... The piranhas will bite you! Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you! Purple tiles are slippery! How many tiles are there? You will slide to the next tile! However, the slippery soap smells like lemons! Which piranhas do not like! Purple and blue are okay! Finally, pink tiles! They don't do anything! Step on them all you like! Okay, how was that? Understand? Understand the explanation? Of course I do! Oh my throat! Great! Then there's one last thing! This puzzle is entirely random! When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before! Not even I will know the solution! <laughs> Get ready! We good? Yes, pink tiles are okay. <laughs> He's just gonna go now. Oh, that explanation for nothing. <laughs> it was a laugh though. Those were the hat, hat, hat. 
laugh. Okay. I don't even remember what red tiles are. But that worked out really nicely. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year they'll even make something edible. Yeah, I mean, if he just plugged in the microwave, that probably would have been pretty good. The machine isn't working. Ah, oh, you don't say. Okay, well, who are you, dog beast? This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Hmm, should we tell him? Oh, I don't think so. Aware of dog, please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of parma raisins. Oh. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Saving the game. Good, good, good. Hello, dog. Nope, just the same thing. I don't know if it would change because last time I clicked more on the snow than the dog itself. Who are you? That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Oh, that's so rude. Oh no, another X puzzle thing. Oh, and then you fall off the edge and... It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. Fair enough. He had enough fun and then he decided that he didn't need more fun. That's all that was. Okay. Huh. It was a lot easier after having fallen once. Okay, let's go this way. Ah, oh, where am I? I can't see what's going on. Oh. Oh, I was sliding that whole time. What was on my head? I want to go back and see what that was. Is it a snow dog? Is that what it is? It's cute. Whatever it is. Anyway. Oh, it's just different snow every time. Okay, let's go down first, because why not? Hey, look, it's Sods. What's up? No, oh, not much. What are those weird things? I don't know. Could be. He moves very quickly. Gift Trot confronts you. Gift Trot looks kind of scary. Um, 7-3. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Aw, oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. Go ahead and laugh. Oh, dear. Ah, I did it! Ah, the sense of fresh pine needles. Undecorate. You remove a small, confused dog. That's a little better. Okay. Ah! Darn it. I was watching, but it was already slightly less irritated. Undecorate again. You remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. That's a little better as well. Is it always on the left, then? Is slightly less irritated. Undecorate. You remove a childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parents. A weight has been lifted. Oh, problems have been taken away. In that case, I shall spare thee. I got 20 gold. That was fun. Alright. Say, are you following me? No, you just happened to teleport weirdly, man. I still don't know what the path was to the right. And I hope it wasn't something, like, special. Because this looks pretty, uh... Oh, definite? It's a door! Hmm. Is it still a door? It's a door. I don't know. Well, okay. I'm gonna leave that and, and assume I need to come back here later. So for now, we're gonna head back across this way. Maybe having one encounter along the way. Let's see. No, we did not. We're gonna head to the right. And this, it's a snow puff. Okay, I'm going to assume these are all snow puffs then. Woof. Okay. What a tiny doghouse. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Oh. Hello, small dog. Oh, you're cute. Less cute. A little less cute. Okay, it's the greater dog. Oh, jeez. Jack. Um, it's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh, no. That's not good. Greater dog is waiting for your command. 
Uh, Beckon, you call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. <laughs> it's so cute down there, you oh, rubbish belly. Greater dog is seeking affection. Aw, okay, I'll pet you. Curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. I think I would be dead if that curled up in my lap. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Z's. Then it wakes up! It's so excited! Ah! Uh, oh good, okay. Um... What if I ignore you then? Greater dog inches closer. <laughs> Ow! Inching closer made the attack go differently. Is patting the ground with its front paws. Ignore. Inches closer! <laughs> He's still just... <laughs> Even his spear has a face! Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Ignore one more time. Inches closer! Crap! Oh good, okay. <laughs> Greater dog is patting around his front paws. Ignore! Because that seems to be doing something. Decides you are too boring. You won! 40 gold. Okay, so you just ignore greater dog. Goodbye, greater dog. It was nice petting you that brief moment when I did. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Now I have to check them. Snow puff. Did I already check this one? I don't think so. Is it really a snow puff? Yes, it is. Behold, a snow puff! And lastly, eh? There's 30 gold inside this. What is this? Wait, is it really? It's a snow puff. Okay. <laughs> but I got 30 gold, maybe. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at me satisfying my curiosity and the want to have more of those fun descriptions. This bridge is long, and for being wooden, I would imagine it wouldn't be entirely safe, but hey, we're going for it. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh! And there's a dog at the end. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire! Spikes will swing! Blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because... I... Am... About... To do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That, uh... Doesn't look very activated. Well... This challenge... It seems... Maybe... Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah! We can't use this one! I am a skeleton with standards! My puzzles are very fair! And my traps are expertly cooked! Like the spaghetti! But this method is too direct! No class at all! Away it goes! Sure, that's what it is. Phew! What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! <laughs> There's a question at the end. Alright! Good job, Papyrus. Pat's on the back for you. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Right, the ones that you can sit and just kind of let pass through you. Welcome to Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. Cool. Clicking on it reveals more than the sign actually says. Here's a shop, but first I'm going to save. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Saving now. Cool. Go into the shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Talk. Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? <gasps> what capital? Is this like Hunger Games? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and... asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. 
Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Burrow under the door, eh? Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. Uh-oh. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Yes, ain't it indeed. Um, bye. Tough glove, manly bandana, Ooh, seven defense, that would be good. It has abs on it! Icicle eats, or heals 11 health times two, eat it twice, oh. And the cinnamon bun, it's my own recipe. Um, take a manly bandana, because I don't plan on attacking people. Even though I failed the whole pacifistic thing, like, purely, I'm still gonna try to be pacifistic. Because, you know, that whole thing with Toriel was just kind of dumb. Uh, yes, but I'm gonna buy this because it has defense. Thanks for your purchase. No, thank you for your business. And exit. So now, once we're out of here, I'm going to control item. Manly Bandana. Just info real quick. Manly Bandana, armor defense 7, has uh, seen somewhere. It has abs drawn on it. Okay. No, not that one. Item. Manly Bandana. Use. You equipped Manly Bandana. Heck yeah, I did. Nope. I just want to save again because I went through all the dialogue and whatnot. I might as well. Now for the inn. What are you, little thing? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. <gasps> what? What's maximum HP? <laughs> Good question. Welcome to Snowden. Aha, I get it. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Never mind. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Okay, but for 80 gold, you little rip-off. Let's see what this is. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under-snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Okay, well. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun-buns are so adorable. Tee-hee. <gasps> Bun-buns, little bunny's cool. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. I see. Is it because she's not moving? But neither are you, so never mind. Okay. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. <laughs> now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh really? We call that Christmas. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Fair enough. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about- a fish lady about- What? That's politics. A fish lady? I don't even know anymore. A lot of people here. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. I get it. We love bones. The skeletons. <sighs> Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Boise Bud, are you a person? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. <laughs> are you a woman? I'm sorry, I didn't know. Anyway, this is the lesser dog, right? I'm thinking of getting a spikes collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. I see. Are you a lesser greater dog? It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Oh no. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. That's great. Alright. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by... Uh, Undine. Yes. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Right, because the monsters. <laughs> Grilb said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. And what about you? The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, 
I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. That would be pretty nice. The jukebox is broken. Then how is their music? I assume just the game audio, but hey, I will make what claims I can. Let's see, oh, you look awfully warm, little thing. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Well, you know, you're funny looking. In a nice way, that's okay. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Good life lesson. Okay, let's see. This is the library. All right, let's check out the library. All right, welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. <laughs> Yeah. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Like the crossword that you just fill in with Z's. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Cool, can I climb this ladder? No. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Thanks. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat. Oh, harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat. There we go. Until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Question mark. So is this part one? That's I'm going all the way over here. It's a school report about monster funerals. Oh, monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. <laughs> when monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. When their essence will live on in that, thi or then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. I hope he just ended it with like a bunch of exclamation points. That's one thing I did like when I was in second grade. We had to write a paper and it was like one page long or whatever, but I didn't have a whole page to do. And so being in second grade, I, my last sentence was like, it was awesome. And so I just literally filled every other line with exclamation points. I didn't get full credit. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. This is true. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. And here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Can I click it again? Nope. X, X, X. There we go. Dang it! I did it too many times! There we go. Okay. So with Toriel then, once, you know, like, she stopped attacking me and I started doing more damage, that's when I should have spammed the spare button, I guess. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Sure. It's empty. Oh, okay. I assume he lives here then. It's locked. Darn it. Hey, that's how you get to the other side of town, I guess. It's also locked from the inside. Well, we're at the other side of town. Might as well keep going. Oh, I guess it's foggy. It's very foggy. I wonder who that could be. So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot. It really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, until the next time for the next video. Until then, take care. Q outro, go!